Flex, JC Penny, Macy's, Facebook, Twitter, Nike, Google, Dixon Cabelli, Walmart, Under Armour. Those are the plays. Major stocks that were dismissed and dissed as losers are now coming off the bench, get, getting off the practice squad, and getting into the starting lineup and playing better, maybe better than ever, like we saw today with Walmart, Cisco, Boeing, and Disney. Call it the digital disconnect. Technology has a lot more to do with retail than you think. And I believe Macy's has an upper hand on J.C. Penny in this game. That's why you should own Macy's and not Penny. Big five sporting goods. Buy, sell, or hold. Yeah, two unseasoned for this guy. Two unseasoned. Not crazy about it. If you're going to be in sporting goods, I was, you know, you'd think, oh, he's going to send me to Dixon Cabela. No! I'm sending you to Under Armour. And then only secondarily, Nike. Those are the plays. Well, Facebook is down for me, to me for ignorant reasons. This company, the world is its oyster. It's short term. It's spending a lot of money to be able to take it to, to consolidate. I think it makes a ton of sense. My travel trust owns it. And by the way, I like Twitter after what I heard yesterday in the analyst meeting. And I like Google. I think Flex, F-L-E-X, is way too cheap. And management knows, hence the massive buyback, that I bet will send the stocks of Macy higher over time. What do you think about uh, 3M as a long-term investment? Yes, it's the perfect one. It's the core portfolio holding it. It's Inga Tulin who runs it. And I got to tell you, what a fabulous run it's been. 